for the visitors, the Phoenix Suns. At point guard, Tyus Jones. At center, Yusuf Nurkic. At small forward, Bradley Beal. At the other guard position, Devin Booker. At the other forward position, Kevin Durant. The head coach of the visiting team, Mike Budenholzer. Starting at small four, six eight, number twenty eight, Rui Hachimura. Starting at point guard, six three, number one, D'Angelo Russell. At guard. 6-5, number 15, Austin Reeves. The man in the middle, 6-10, number 3, A.D. Anthony Davis. At the other forward position, 6-9, number 23, LeBron James. Welcome to the weekend, everybody. Let's get it going with NBA action on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson alongside. David Aldridge is with us from the floor tonight. And here's what the schedule for the Lakers looks like on Saturday. They'll be matching up against DeMar DeRozan and the Sacramento Kings. And then on Monday, they'll go up against Bradley Beal and the Phoenix Suns. And Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer together. And now the opening lineup for Phoenix. Up front, Durant plays the four with Nurkic at the five. Jones is out there with Devin Booker, and it's Beal in at the small forward position. And for Los Angeles, the guard spots filled by Russell and Reed. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis, and it's Hachimura in at the small forward. Now that the new season is tipped off, Richard, how important is it to get things off to a good start? I'd say it's fairly important, but this is a long season, Kevin. It's about sustaining a high level of play yeah, consistently. Just wheeling that one in. That's a tough shot there by Russell. Russell against Jones. To the middle. Here's Booker. Anthony Davis with the rebound. And so it's Davis bring the ball up for Los Angeles. And this is their first time matched up with the Suns this season. And they lost the season series against the squad last year, so trying to bounce back here tonight. Now, here is Russell. After LeBron James's miss, took the opportunity when he saw it. Oh, for a big man, Davis can really finesse it. Here's the Suns with the ball. Four-point game. And Richard, you've watched LeBron James over the years. His approach never wavers. It never changes. He is all business all the time, on the court and off the court. The consistency of his focus and mental toughness is unbelievable. And here is James after Devin Booker getting his shot to go from deep. Hachimura, the pass to James. Rebound by the Suns. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Pass to Nurkic. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Davis. 
Loads it up for Davis, and Davis throws it down. That's exactly what you want to see from AD, using that length and that athleticism to cause problems. Jones against Russell. Durant in the corner. Banked in off the glass. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who had a chance to talk with J.J. Reddick. Now I talked to him about the challenge of trying to stop Kevin Durant. Coach said it's about not letting him get into a rhythm. I told the guys they need to focus on staying in front of him and trying to contest everything. Easier said than done, but we'll see if they can even make things difficult for KD. Guys, thank you, David. And he can't get the first one. And you look at the career of D'Angelo Russell. I mean, he's played for several teams, including the Lakers, twice. Teams keep trading for D'Lo for his offense. He can be electric. There is a reason why he's been named an all-star in his career. Allen's checked in for Jones. No good at the stripe this time. Second miss is also. And guys, hold on now. I'm getting word we have Shams Charania calling in. Shams, what do you have for us? Thanks, and this summer saw the passing of Laker legend, three-time basketball Hall of Famer, the logo, Jerry West, an all-star every year of his outstanding playing career before going on to have such a successful career as a coach and as an executive. Guys, this league will bear his imprint forever. Jerry West will be missed. An all-time great for sure. Okay, Shams, we appreciate the reporting. Booker, no good. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can count on him to continue missing. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one in the strike. A lot of style and flair to Reeves' offense. I know Reeves has been accused of hunting fouls before, Richard. Uh, do you see that? Oh, I don't know if it's all on Reeves. It's just the way the game is played. Great players learn how to put you in position to foul them. The goal of the game is to score, and if that's hunting fouls, then hunt away. And with this core of the Suns, you know, Greg, you never know who is going to initiate the offense for him. And that can cause problems at times, Kevin. It can run you into issues keeping the ball moving. Turnovers can be their Achilles heel as well. Taking on more playmaking responsibilities, Booker has matured over the years, becoming a better teammate. Los Angeles leading by four, and J.J. Redick is called timeout. He's made the decision. He wants to huddle up with his guys. Heading to the corner, the Laker girl. Let's make them noise. Switch here. Connects checked in. Phoenix also making some changes. Plumley comes in for Yusuf Nurkic, and Beal subbed in for Durant. Davis up top. He's guarded by Plumley. There's 39 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Vincent the pass to Davis. Just five on the clock. Over Plumley. And it's Davis missing. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Screen by Allen. Here's Beal. And it's blocked. And they recover it. O'Neal from long range. Well, that's good, good off the assist from Allen. And sit with it to the inside. Davis and finished off by Davis. He gives up a bit of size at the center position, but his leaping ability, well, let's just say that makes up for it. Anthony Davis firing on all cylinders for the Lakers. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. We come back right after this.
enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. And from what we've seen so far from the Lakers, guys, what are your thoughts? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. And let me tell you, when you establish a physical edge, it gives you a mental edge, too. And, Greg, you talk about toughness, the compete factor. How does a team create that culture? Call it critical mass. <laughs> when you have the entire organization and enough players committed to that kind of effort, everyone has to meet that level. So at Durant sitting on the bench, this is Mike Budenholzer's lineup. The wing pair we'll be seeing is B.O. and Allen. Royce O'Neal is out there with Plumlee, and it's Morris in at the point. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Hey, Kevin, despite suffering a first-round sweep in last season's playoffs, the Suns' front brass remains confident that they were mere inches from where they needed to be to compete for a title, emphasizing that chemistry is built over time and through the fire. The hope is with another year to coalesce, this team will be ready for a deeper run. Kevin? Well, they've got the names. they got a big coach now coming in. All right, D.A., thank you. So for Phoenix, their last game, a win against the Clippers in L.A. Remarkable consistency from deep. You can't count on that every game, especially on the road. Yeah, they just pummeled them from the perimeter. Did a nice job working the ball around and getting those high percentage looks. Clock at six. Here's LeBron. LeBron James charging through contact. Yeah, just too much big boy basketball by LeBron James. Just bodying defenders inside. And you can never really count out these Los Angeles Lakers, Greg, can you? No, I, I really don't think you can. They, they battle out of the play-in tournament. They overcome obstacles, and they have tremendous willpower. Vincent, the bounce pass. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Pass to Christie. Good, and the assist goes to James. Christie's got the lead up to six now for Los Angeles. Great find by Bron using his basketball IQ. If you don't understand how smart he is, just ask him. And Mike Budenholzer is called a timeout. Looking for a breather and maybe just one or two things to talk about. here for the Lakers. Davis has checked in for Hayes. Hachimura comes in for Connect. Austin Reeves has checked in for Christie. And it's Russell in for Vincent. A big group substitution here for Phoenix. Bull Bull. He's checked in for O'Neal. Akogi comes in for Allen. Devin Booker, he's checked in for Bradley Beal. And Tyus Jones subbed in for Morris. Jones with it. He's picked up by Russell. With three, Booker. And <laughs> you know who. Really? Devin Booker. Part of the evolution of Booker's game, getting consistent from deep. Let's get an update on Durant. What's the status, David? Kevin, I caught up with the head athletic trainer for the Suns, and this is an unfortunate injury and potentially devastating for them. Now, this team came into the season with some high hopes. It's not the way they wanted to start things off. Devin? Thanks for the status report there, David. At least we now know, uh, Greg, how he's doing. Yeah, well, when you talk injury, the unknown factor is always a difficult thing to deal with. And you never want to speculate. So it's nice for us, and especially his teammates, to get some facts. Hachimura, the pass to Reeves. Back to Hachimura. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Over the last few years, Hachimura has gotten more comfortable in these catch-and-shoot situations. On the wing, Booker, he's defended by Reeves. 
count it, and the Laker lead has been cut down now to just four points with the basket from Booker. And, and Kevin, they started the game shooting it so well. I, I'm surprised they haven't continued. They've got to get back to their strength. Back to James. Reeves with the screen for James. Reeves gets the bucket. Reeves has got five now. Nice concentration for Reeves. He never loses focus despite the contact. Reeves against Booker. Plumley with a screen on Reeves. For three, Booker and out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. Lakers ball. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, probably not the defensive effort you were hoping for thus far. Yeah, no, our defense isn't where it needs to be. I think they're getting open looks. We're overshifting, and then we're not committing to shooters. Um, just not a very good defensive effort so far. Mike, thanks very much for your time. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. Welcome, one and all. Before we hear Kenny and Shaq's insights on that first half, let's look ahead and check out the upcoming schedule. Taking a look here now at Phoenix. Hey, their spirits are high. They have a chance to start the season on a winning streak. Build up that momentum, guys. The way they looked in that first game, it certainly wouldn't be a surprise. And now, time to talk about this game. What a solid start for the Lakers. We often talk about efficiency on offense. They were the winners in that department, guys. I like how efficient you were with that analysis, Chet. Well done. Yeah, instead of rambling on like usual. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half. If you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. You know, Davis has been exceptional here, guys. He just loved the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. You love guys who can get their shots within the flow of the offense. Here's Jones. He has yet to score. The guard spots filled by Russell and Reeves. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. And it's Hachimura in at the three. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Fantastic finish by Booker. I guess Booker wants to play with his food before he eats. Los Angeles leading by four. And the all-star, Devin Booker, an incredible scoring guard. Since the moment he got drafted by the Phoenix Suns, he has been a beacon of consistency. Every single year he gets better. Every single year he adds something to his game. That's why Devin Booker is one of the best guards in this league. Booker looking around. Nurkic setting the pick for Booker. Puts up a deep three. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Booker. Let's take a look now at some numbers for Beal. Last year, getting it done. Averaged 18 points per, five assists, and four rebounds. Fantastic totals for him across the board. I wouldn't be surprised if he keeps rolling. 
I think if you talk to anyone on this team, they believe in his abilities about a thousand percent. Reeves outside. Outside, Davis. Pass to Hachimura. Fires from deep. And James with the basket on the assist by Hachimura. And now it's a nine-point Laker lead. And Mike Budenholzer has called a timeout. He's ready to talk things through with the team. And checking out some stats for D'Angelo Russell. He had a strong showing last season. And he was also extremely dependable behind the three-point line, finishing the season among the top 20 in three-point percentage. And really a good season for him distributing the basketball. Whether it was uh, the drive and dish, pick and roll, fast break, he was money all year long. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And always hovering around the 50, 40, 90 mark, Kevin Durant is both prolific and Greg efficient. And Kevin, you want to talk about guys in this league who make winning plays time and time again? Katie is right at the top of that list. That's good from Durant. And Kevin Durant, one of the top 10 scorers in league history. And RJ still going strong. And he does it with efficiency, Kevin. Takes great shots, and he's incredibly accurate. And if he doesn't have a look, he's a willing passer. And KD drops them both. And it's a luxury to have a great shooter like him at the line. Very rarely see a miss. Reeves outside. Back to LeBron. And another three for the Lakers. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. I now I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Austin Reeves went undrafted, but his success comes as no surprise to him. He says, I've always felt like I belong. He goes back to childhood. His mom once asked him, is this confidence or cockiness? He told her, they're basically kind of the same thing. Kevin, back to you. That's something else. Undaunted. Hey, David, thank you. Shooting a great clip in the second half. He made some nice adjustments in the locker room. Outside, Jones. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Floats one. The Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got four rebounds now tonight. James slams it in. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. They've had great execution, and what stands out is that they're just taking what the defense gives them, not forcing anything. Here's Beal. Jones kicks to Booker. Suns moving the ball around. They get it back. Three-pointer. Yes, it is. Score that is a bucket. Number five on a five for 11 night. And we've kind of come to expect this performance from Booker every night. His scoring is just that consistent. Davis against Gurkic. Here's Russell. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first. It goes on Devin Booker. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. The Lakers have shot one of three from the line tonight, missing two earlier on. And he makes the first. Craig in the process to bring in all their stars. The Suns don't have a lot of ways to add players in the near future. Yeah, they don't control their draft picks for the next few years. That was part of the price for Beal and Durant. They'll have to be very shrewd to add rotation pieces to help them win. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Connect comes in for Rui Hachimura. Christie subbed in for Austin Reed. Highly skilled with good instinct. Russell has top-level tools, always has. Allen dishes to Beal. Back to Allen. Plumley sets the pick for Allen. Shot clock at six. A three-pointer off the mark. A good board there, Kevin. But overall, they're getting slightly out-rebounded. James. 
James gets inside and finishes. Well, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Always plays hard until the final whistle, no matter what the situation is. Hell through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Lakers ahead as they wrap up the third quarter with a massive 16-7 run. 2K Sports, back in a moment here in Los Angeles. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for you. You've got to admire the vision just as much as the accuracy. Not many players can even spot that pass. Come on, everyone. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. And Phoenix, look at who they've got on the floor. They're going with Booker and Allen on the wing. Fumbling out there with Royce O'Neal. And it's Jones in at the point guard position. And the rejection by LeBron. And Brown with the block. Look, the shooters are working hard. But he is <laughs> all over. The local, Kurt Schiffino. And so here's Phoenix, trailing by 13. Here's Plumley, nails the baby hook. Plumley's got his first points in this one. He saw a pass to the rim and he took it. The defense just couldn't stop him. They sent the pick. Here's Christie, and no good. Good D by Booker. The drive by Allen. So he'll shoot two here. And one thing the Lakers are so adept at inverting their sets to have different players start the action. Yeah, it takes a high level of basketball IQ to do that on the fly. Makes break. defending the Lakers two a shot. nightmare. You never know how they'll attack you. Free throw, good, Allen. RJ, we know that the Suns missed the playoffs for about a decade, but now they seem to be getting some traction. How do you view them? Uh, I view them as a team that's in transition. Obviously, they have Devin Booker, the homegrown star. The guy has blossomed there in front of everyone's eyes, and after that finals run, they've really been searching. He's the last player there, but whenever you have Kevin Durant on your team, you are always on the verge of something special. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Well, the Lakers have got to be pleased. They no longer have to share their home arena. It's all their own now. Yes, it's beneficial for the Lakers and Clippers. They've shared the arena since 1999 when the Staples Center first opened. But everyone knew it was the Lakers' house because they hung up the banner. But I will say this, the Clippers own their arena. In close, Durant gets the bucket. I love the confidence that Durant plays with. The closer he gets to the rim, the more dangerous he becomes. Russell passes to James. Good work defensively by KD. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. Shot is good in the Los Angeles leads. Cut to just seven on the basket from Beal. And this is what separates a player like Beal. The ability to create his own with regularity. And J.J. Redick is called timeout. He knows every possession is critical now. Tyus Jones, he's checked in for Phoenix. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey guys, J.J. Reddick's message with his team was simple. He told them, pedal to the metal. Adding, we're ahead out here, but it's not over yet. You start celebrating in your head, and there's work to be done on the floor. Back to you guys. That's Thank you, David. Guarding James has always been a challenge. So good at getting the better of the defense. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Lakers. 
Oh, they're moving the ball around so well, guys. Quick passes, letting the next guy do the work if you don't have a look. And also, guys, they've been showing how dangerous they are in the open floor. When they see a chance to get easy points, boy, they just jump at it. Both free throws, good from James. What I appreciate about LeBron is how much he loves being a leader. He knows how much his teammates count on him. Takes a step back. Here's Booker. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the five. Yeah, easy call. And it seems the new era is a bonus GA. A lot of young stars and young teams vying for the status of household names. Kevin, the casual fans might have to update their frame of reference, right? Especially since a lot of these new stars are playing in smaller markets. When Devin Booker steps on the court, you almost expect 30 or 40 point nights. Booker is that talented. Two men to name in the story. Two men. Durant against James. Shoots over KD. And again, no good by the Lakers. And KD has got the ball here for Phoenix. Seven point differential. And again, it's the Suns missing. And that was a little bit of a rage check for him. Yeah, he might have been feeling himself a little too much on that one. He can hit it, but not consistent. Davis with a screen on Jones. Pass to Jenkins. Over Booker. And he gets it to go. Hitting off the back of the rim. LeBron's got six in the quarter. When LeBron is being aggressive on offense, you've got to make a change. You can't let him just have his way. That is good in the Los Angeles leads. Cut to just seven points in the basket from Devin Booker. Here's Reeves. 114 left to play here in the fourth. Russell sets a screen for LeBron. Here's the teardrop. Can't get the layup. The Suns have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Jones finds Booker. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Now we know that Booker can score with the best of them. And he's also very skilled at drawing fouls. Good on the first, and that trims the lead to six. Both free throws good from Booker. And great work at the line there to chip away at the lead. A few more productive trips here, and things could really get interesting. And he commits the intentional foul. The second personal foul. Second team. 44 seconds left in the fourth. Loads it up for Davis. Nurkic with the steal. Great job preventing that ball from coming into the post. Might have been an easy two if the defense wasn't there. Pulls up from the corner. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Two points here might be all the cushion they need. You would think so. This game is theirs for the take. the first one and that increases their lead to six and a tough break is his second attempt at the line no good can't waste any time here it needs to be a quick shot then a quick foul it's good and now they trail by just four such a great passer at his position. Dimes like this are why KD is a winner. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let him dribble the game out. Gets the first, and that puts them up by five. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. He knows how important it is converting at the line and building with his lead. And the Suns call time. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, Coach? His focus is going to be here. It's still a sliver of hope. We've seen teams come back from this before. Smart to take the timeout and get everybody focused on exactly what needs to be done. And they go to the intentional foul. 
his fourth personal foul, fifth team foul. Drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. Timeout called. The Suns. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, what do you think? And I don't think they'll be able to climb out of this hole. And I'm sure Coach is encouraging them to play to the final whistle. Then they can get out of here. And Davis sends it back. And an intentional foul right there. And you can see where they're coming from by fouling to stop the clock. Really, they're just kidding themselves. First free throw is good, and that will put them up by nine. unable to get the second one and that should be enough to get the job done even though he didn't get all of it and so los angeles takes the win even early on in this one it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight and it makes a big difference once they started to really play in rhythm you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win and we've got david aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game david it's all yours Thanks very much. LeBron, in the fourth quarter, were you looking to be aggressive? Yeah, I just try to close the game out. You know, my teammates look for me in the fourth quarter to close the game out with my scoring and just my playmaking ability. So, uh, you know, to be able to go out there and come through for it means a lot. I know they're used to it by now, but I know you're still happy with the win. Congrats. Back to you. All right, D.A., thanks again. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Richard Jefferson, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. We appreciate you tuning in tonight. And now, our player of the game, LeBron James.